Hi everyone, today I'll be walking you through the demo of Recurly for Salesforce integration. We'll learn about the key functionality and benefits it can bring to your business. Recurly for Salesforce is a two-way, real-time, out-of-the-box integration designed to help B2B subscription companies, especially those with sales-assisted business models. It helps automate quote-to-cash workflows across multiple internal teams and systems and helps eliminate double inputs and manual invoicing. This integration aims to help the back office gain significant operational efficiencies and support nuanced subscription models at scale. Before we dive into the demo of the integration, let's look at the diagram outlining the key steps and how the two systems connect. Before I fully break down this data model, I did want to highlight something that's very important. On the very bottom here, you'll see accounts, opportunities, products, and standard price books. So those are the native Salesforce objects that are required for our managed package. With that said, this middle row would be the custom Salesforce objects that are created from Recurly's managed package. And then the top part is your native Recurly objects. So let's first start by focusing on those Recurly objects. So what this means is you're creating your original plans, add-ons, and items on the Recurly site. And that would just be any of your unique offerings. From there, those would sync over to Salesforce using our managed package and nestle into the products and standard price books on the Salesforce site. Once you've done that, you could then leverage that standard account object and create an opportunity off of that account. Now, assuming that that opportunity reaches a closed one status, that would then push over to Recurly to create the accounts on the Recurly side, the subscription and invoice. And of course, that all maps back to Salesforce in that two way sync and brings the Recurly account, Recurly subscription and Recurly invoices back over to Salesforce. And that kind of completes that two way sync. Now, keep in mind, it's really important and, and very useful that the Recurly account back on the Salesforce site is a related account to that original account. So from a reporting perspective, that makes things much, much easier. And just to finish this off, as mentioned before, we create these custom objects on the Salesforce site so that we can map those standard Recurly objects over there to the related standard objects on Salesforce side. Now that we've discussed Recurly for Salesforce at a high level, let's take a look at it and see how it works. So what we're looking at here is a Salesforce sandbox, and we're looking at the standard tabs. We have opportunities, we have accounts, and because we've loaded our managed package, we also have all of our custom objects, recurly accounts, and so forth on the Salesforce site. So I'm gonna start by creating a new opportunity off of this fictitious account called Cloud Secure. So I'll create a new opportunity, and I'll just call this example two. We'll do a close date up to day, just in the interest of time. And I will go ahead and pick a stage that is anything except closed one. So I'll, I'll choose proposal price quote. And we'll hit save. Once that opportunity is created, I'll click into it. And as you'll remember, because of the managed package, we would have loaded our plans, add-ons, and items into our products and price books on the Salesforce side. So I can come over to the product section and I can start to add products. So I first would choose the price book and some folks may use more than one. I'm gonna use the standard price book and I'll hit save. And then I'll add a product. For this use case, I'll use our annual plan as the example. We'll go ahead and hit next and we'll see the plan here. Maybe we'll change the price, maybe we won't. For now, I'll leave it alone and I'll go ahead and hit save. So now we have a plan attached to that opportunity. We'll click back into the opportunity. We'll now see that is attached over uh, in the product section here. So from this point, you may have a variety of ways that you're working with the opportunity, but we're gonna basically move it to a closed one, assuming that negotiations are going well and um, anything that might need to be signed is happening. And I'll move this to a closed one stage. Now, once I hit save, that is gonna bring in a new button that we'll see in a moment here. And there it is, and it says create subscription and recurly. Once I click that button, it's gonna bring me over to a force.com page. And th think of this as kind of a final review stage. So you may have a finance team that reviews these and so forth. So perhaps we're gonna make a change on the pricing and maybe we're going to add uh, a add on or other things like that. Uh, we also might want a future date um, or change the collection method. Maybe I'll make this one a manual invoice with a PO number. I'll just put a fictitious number in there with a net 10 terms for payment and you can put other notes as well. 
Once I hit submit, that is going to send this closed one opportunity right over to Recurly to create that account, subscription, and associated invoice. And now what we'll see here is we'll land on that new subscription page, this annual plan for the for the Cloud Secure. And we can scroll down and see all of the parameters of that. So now we're going to switch gears and we're going to take a look at this on this on the Recurly side. All right, so now as you can see, we're back on the Recurly side and we see the account here, Cloud Secure. We click into that account and we'll see the plan that we created. We changed that price from 100 to 120. We'll see all those things reflected on the Recurly side. Now it's fairly possible that you'll need to make adjustments to that from time to time. So we'll go back to Salesforce and we'll navigate to our Recurly accounts and we'll see Cloud Secure right here. And as we scroll down, we'll see the latest subscription that we've created. This one right here, Cloud Secure Annual 3 Plan. I'll go ahead and click into that and we'll see the parameters. We'll see the pricing, everything we've set up for that plan. And we are welcome to make adjustments on the Salesforce site. If I come to the drop down over here and click Manage Subscription Plan, that will give me the opportunity to make changes. So perhaps um, I'll make a change back down to uh, $115. Maybe we misquoted them and we want to adjust that price and maybe we do want to add the add-on to that uh, after all um, and perhaps there's changes to terms etc so whatever those changes are we can go ahead and make those we could also do pause or resume and even cancel or terminate the subscription so any of the standard subscription maintenance um, can happen on this page so I'll go ahead and put the change through and it also allows you to to know what timing you want do you want it to be an immediate change or do you want it to be upon renewal? So there's a lot of flexibility there uh, if and when, for example, you want to avoid proration. So we'll push the change through. Now, if we go back to Recurly where we were before and we hit refresh, we'll now see that reflected in here. We'll see that we added, first of all, we changed the plan and then we also added the add-on. In this case, it was a usage add-on. All right, we've nearly reached the end of the demo. We've now created off an account, we've created an opportunity. We've worked that opportunity to a closed one status, which is then pushed over to Recurly and then synced back to Salesforce for that full two-way sync. I do want to touch briefly on the Recurly admin settings on the Salesforce side and just highlight a few areas. So things like the API settings. So this is where you're going to put in your subdomain and your API keys. And you'll note here, you can have multiple subdomains. So if you're using multiple Recurly sites, that is no problem. You can use that within one instance of Salesforce. Otherwise, these are all just different account settings um, relative to either accounts or product syncs. Um, so you're able to adjust some of that mapping. Uh, another thing that I think is important to highlight here is you are able to adjust the frequency of, of batch updates from Recurly back to Salesforce. And that's really to be sensitive to any API limits you might have on the Salesforce side. Um, out of the box, it's set to five minutes, but you're welcome to adjust that as needed to be sensitive to those API limits. So with that, I just want to thank you for watching this demo. And if you have any further questions on Recurly for Salesforce integration or really anything about Recurly, feel free to reach out to us and schedule a demo. Thanks so much.